my question goes first to Mrs. Subhashini. It's relating to the budget. Uh, now, there is a, how would I phrase it? People believe that the budget of any government, of any year, will be some sort of relief to them. But when you look at the budget document, it's always the expenditure is far greater than the revenue. So, can the people believe that the budget is actually going to give benefits to them? So, first point I would like to make is budget, is the people's expectations from a budget in terms of concessions and relief uh, is not really an accurate expectation, partly because budgets, are, budgets have a far bigger role to pay, uh, play than just giving handouts or subsidies. So uh, a budget is basically Sri Lanka's how the government would spend its revenue, which is around nearly two trillion rupees of revenue that is collected from taxes to the development of the country. And this includes from building roads to building hospitals to building educations to improving uh, ports to so it, it actually encompasses a large array of development activities and subsidies or salary hikes are actually a very minor part in it. But unfortunately, uh, the, the public understanding or the expectation largely surrounds, uh, largely is concentrated around uh, the expectation of really basically will the government servants get salary hikes? Will our pensions be increased? Or will the full subsidy be increased? So, so this is also a challenge for the government because this is why, like previously mentioned, governments are forced to give sometimes, especially if they're heading for elections like what happened in 2015, uh, meet these short-term expectations of the public. Because if you're thinking of building a highway to building a port to building hospitals or educa improving education, those do not necessarily give returns within a five-year election cycle. So that's a constant challenge in our budgeting process. And that as a result, we have consistently moved to give these short-term relief measures that really does not generate sustainable growth for the country. And it escalates expenditure. And, and basically, uh, we have all these higher fiscal deficits and other macroeconomic problems arising from that. So what sort of remedial measures should the government adopt? So ideally, the government should think me medium to long term and be bold enough to take decisions immaterial of those decisions not delivering results in the next six months. But like I said, every government uh, struggles when they are presenting a budget with the political objective, balancing the political objectives with economic realities. So, so most of the time, unfortunately, every government prioritizes the political objectives over economic, and that is why we end up with uh, all these macroeconomic so, problems. So, Jeeva, I want to ask